In this exercise, you will select a wall type from the library and place it in the model using the same techniques used to place lines and shapes. Set the floor selector to the station ground floor. Select the architectural tab on the ribbon. From the architectural elements group, select the wall tool. Select a wall item type, project brick plus stone plus CMU. You can type star P-O-R-G in the search field to help you find the wall in the library. This is what is known as a compound wall, meaning it is made up of multiple layers of different parts. For instance, the primary layer is concrete block with additional layers of brick, stone, and gypsum. This wall catalog item was created for the project and stored in the work set. Set the wall dimensions. The width is grayed out because it is based on the wall type selected and should not be changed. The height, however, can be changed. Change it to 12 feet or 4,000 millimeters. You will adjust the height later to match the slope of the roof once you have placed the sloped roof. On the Place tab on the ribbon, select Place by Line and set the placement to Center Justify. This indicates where the wall will be modeled relative to the placement line. In this case, the placement line will be the center of the concrete block that is the primary structure of this compound wall. It is possible to set offsets both horizontally and vertically from the placement line to offset the wall as it is placed. Leave these both set to zero. Toggle on Close Wall and Auto Connect. You will place the wall by tracing the form placed earlier. The wall will automatically close and the corners will be connected and mitered. Start the wall by snapping to the base of the building form at one corner. Data point or left click to accept. For the next point, snap to the next corner, moving in a counterclockwise manner. Data point, left click to accept. For the next point, snap to the next corner and data point or left click to accept. Now reset or right click to close the shape and complete the wall. Now that you have placed the wall, you may want to delete the building form. Select the form, right press to pull up a context sensitive list of modification tools and select delete. The walls placed have an implied relationship so that if you move one wall, adjacent walls will be adjusted. Let's move the front and back wall to expose the structural columns. Tap the spacebar to activate the ribbon pop-up menu and select the Move tool. Select the wall along column line C with the AccuDraw compass in the top orientation. Move the cursor along the Y axis and move the selected wall one foot four or 500 millimeters towards column line B exposing the columns along column line C. Note that the adjacent walls have also been modified. Repeat with the opposite wall, moving it one foot four or 500 millimeters in the same direction, this time exposing the columns on the interior of the station building. In this session, you have selected a wall type from the library and placed it in the model, and then made some simple modifications to see that walls have an implied relationship to other walls and will maintain that relationship when modified. In the next session, you will add the sloped roof and then modify the height of the walls to meet the sloped roof. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.